Hello there, this is T-Mac with Wild for the Outdoors and I'm going to do a little video here about climber safety. Uh, it's in between rains, it's hot, it's muggy, mosquitoes are everywhere so this is going to be pretty quick hopefully. Uh, there was a video circulating last year of a guy using this, it looked like about this same climber. Going up a tree, the bottom falls out, then he falls down, you know. There was so much wrong going on there that I felt I had to do a video because people are like, oh, that's why I don't use climbers. They're so dangerous. They're so dangerous. And man, I've been using this climber for 10 years. Uh, just a cheap climber I bought on sale. i done some re-welding on it. And it has lasted and lasted. And every year I test it before I go out. And last year I didn't use it much at all. You know, this year I'm going to have to use it. This new property, I don't have any stands set. Uh, unless I just hunt from the ground, I'm just going to have to use it. But I'm, this is probably one of the safest stands I've ever hunted out of. Uh, will it fail one day? It could. You know, any stand can fail. Uh, but there's some things you can do to keep stuff like that from happening. Uh, the first thing I always look at before I climb a tree is the tree itself. Is the bark uh, penetrable when as far as these teeth go? These teeth here in the back sink into the tree when you, st when you start climbing. And... Uh, you know, uh, the trees I mostly climb are like this, the white oak tree, post oak, red oaks are all right. Uh, th their bark moves a little bit. I don't like it. It pops and snaps a little bit. But, you know, your softer wood trees is what I use. Uh, now, sycamores, no, they're too slick. You don't want nothing slick like that. The sycamore is okay. They has that feathery bark, but then as you get up, man, that bark's gone. And it's just skin you're up against, and you don't want that. So, and uh, I've sometimes I've seen people climb hickory trees. That's okay. Still, the bark's just a little bit solid for me. So whenever I can, I find a white oak or a post oak or some kind of oak tree. That's what I like to climb. Secondly, I take a look at, from the bottom to the top. If it's real wide at the bottom, and I got to lean this thing up so that it flattens out when I get up there. I don't like doing that. I want it to be relatively close to the same size all the way up. Sometimes that's hard to find in an area you want to hunt. It just depends on, you know, and if that's the case, maybe a climbing stand's not for you. Where I'm hunting, lots of white oaks, lots of good straight white oaks. So don't make it too big, don't make it too small. These back V's here that bite against the tree, you want them to fit around that tree and you want the teeth to sink in. So be kind of choosy on your tree. That's the first thing you want to do. Secondly, this right here ties your top and your bottom together. So if something happens and this bottom falls, it doesn't go very far. It stays within reach. Very, very, very important to have this on there. This is your lifeline. Now, another thing, this foot right here, have something you can cinch your feet into and I also carry a bungee cord that I can wrap around and put my heels into so that my feet are stuck in here they're not going to go anywhere that's very important while you're climbing you don't want this thing to slip off your feet so just an added bungee cord and that, that can save your life right there now when you're climbing in that video you know he was had to <laughs> just I knew something was going to happen the minute he started uh, do not take big you're not in a big hurry don't be in a huge hurry if you're in a big hurry to get up that tree you can make mistakes and I don't that goes for any tree stand I don't care if it's a ladder stand pin up stand what kind of stand it is if you're in a hurry you're late leave earlier next time but just take your time you don't have to take giant huge steps to get up that tree you know I only go about eight to ten inches at a time just so that I'm comfortable you know and every time you want to sit back and make sure that those teeth back there are digging in I'm telling you what people I've been using these for years there's nothing I love more than my climbing stand and nothing makes me feel safer than being in one of these climbing stands, especially with the front on it that I can use to lean on or whatever. And another tip that I'm going to try and get into 
I need to start getting into is climbing with a safety belt on. That's that can help you out tremendously. Yeah. They make safety belts nowadays that are pretty good, really safe, and that you can easily climb with. And all you have to do is hook it up above uh, your top piece, move it up, climb a little bit, move it up, climb a little bit. And I'm telling you, these stands can be as safe, if not safer, than a pinup stand. You know, it's all in how you use it, it's all in how you take care of it. But before you go out in the woods, practice with one of these. Practice, practice, practice. Make sure, like, I'll get up in this thing and I'll jump around and stomp around and make sure it's going to hold me. And I'll use it a few times every year before I go out. Maybe even more. I'll probably start shooting out of it pretty soon. So I'll be climbing in at all time. Check your equipment. Take care of your equipment. Take some steps to ensure that you don't end up hurting yourself or not coming home to your family. I'm going to climb this tree a little bit, get it ready for when I start practicing. One more thing I'd like to give you a tip on when you're climbing a tree, you want it pretty straight. Slightly leaning is okay, but you need to put your climber on the front side. You do not want to be hanging in that thing. And if it's too far back, that's bad too. It can give instability in your bottom platform. You don't want that. Pick a pretty straight tree. Use these tips and you can climb trees safely and then there ain't no place you can't hunt. You know, you can go into an area, walk in as far as you want to walk. They make these things so light now and easy to carry and adjustable. You can be sitting in your tree stand and adjust them. That's crazy. You can do whatever you want with these things. They will help you and you can move, move, move when you need to. When you're deer hunting, being able to be mobile is pretty important. And these tree stands will help you. But use these tips, be safe, because it's very important when we go out that we come home. God bless y'all. I love you. I'll see you next time. For tons more videos, go to our YouTube channel, Wild for the Outdoors. You can also see them at www.wildfortheoutdoors.com. And don't forget to go to Facebook, like us, share us with your friends, and hey, remember, it's your God-given duty to manage this land.